Kneel before Todd. Ooh, that's a hot mug, guy. Hey guys, this is my review for Wishful Thinking Episode 8 of Supernatural Season 4 and small little announcement. This is the 200th episode review I've done. It's not 200 episodes, it's more so 200 in the playlist. I have obviously reviewed certain things multiple times, uh, especially in my conversations with Jade, but this is the 200th video I've ever talked about about Supernatural in terms of review basis. Woo! That's a lot! But for those who are actually wondering what the 200th episode I've ever reviewed of Supernatural will be, it's actually going to be episode 9 of season 5, The Real Ghostbusters, so we'll make an announcement on that. But Wishful Thinking is actually one of the funnier episodes that still has a bit of seriousness in it, uh, kind of tagged in. It's a filler episode, but has a lot of character building moments between the two brothers and this is kind of harkening back to season one but even better boys come to a town where very strange things are happening a bigfoot's walking around a peeping tom has the ability to go invisible this teddy bear is having an alcohol and depressive issue there is a lot of very odd and strange things happening in this town and it's all associated with a wishing well it turns out that there's a babylonian coin in this wishing well and much like a monkey's paw everyone's wish is actually having a negative effect on them i always like stories that have monkey paw kind of aspects to them it's probably one of my favorite sort of storytelling tropes in terms of getting what you wish for but there's obviously a negative to it there's some sort of negative reaction to it and that is done very well in this episode between the bits of humor with the teddy bear that tries to kill himself or freaking ted raimi getting the girl of his dreams i did not know that one of the raimi brothers was in supernatural for those of you who are wondering this is sam raimi's brother the guy who directed the spider-man films the evil dead films it's crazy to see him in this episode because every time I've seen him I've always like why do I recognize him and, and while there are some funny bits like the kid who's got superpowers and picking on bullies and Dean tries to straight up clock him but it doesn't work there are also some serious moments especially with Dean's nightmares of hell becoming more apparent Sam trying to talk to him about it and in the ending at the end of the episode where they're on the pier and Dean says yes I remember all of hell but there's no way I'm going to talk to you about it because how do I talk to you about it? How do I get over that? That's in my head forever. And it's a very good look on kind of people's inner demons, inner depression, inner turmoil. And it's a very serious moment for Dean. And it's actually what brings the episode up for me because originally I was going to give this a 5 out of 7 because it's a pretty solid episode. It's funny. It's got some good moments. But... It's not until that very end bit that it pushes it up just a little bit because, again, this is character building that actually mattered to the show. And these moments matter now because they're going to just get rinsed and repeated in later seasons. So you really got to appreciate when this stuff was first established and when it actually mattered to the narrative rather than just kind of making a narrative. So pretty much I said it earlier, but I'm going to give Wishful Thinking a 6 out of 7. It's a really solid episode. I enjoy it. It's funny and it has a lot of serious elements to it that bring it out of just being kind of a Monster of the Week or funny Monster of the Week episode. So I asked you guys to give me your comments about Wishful Thinking in the last episode review, so let's read some of those comments off now. Wishful Thinking is essentially the story of the monkey's paw. I really love the opening of the scene, Sam and Dean uh, clinically aggressive to each other about Dean, whether or not he remembers hell, and their waiter is aggressively optimistic. The depressed teddy bear has to be one of the moments in the show that is unforgettable. The camera angles of him shooting himself uh, in the suicide scene uh, shot on TV with the stuff, the stuffing flying everywhere like blood was dark humor that I couldn't help but laugh at. Dean at the end of the episode defending the bully kid as if he was still super strong was incredibly endearing. Dean talking about how he will never forget Hill is such a great for the show that makes Dean never seem the same. Overall, the earlier seasons proved that Supernatural really understood how to handle its humor. It has weight to its humor rather than just being humorous for humor's sake. When it comes to the funny episodes of this season, people always pick Yellow Fever as the best. I don't understand why. Wishful Thinking is one of the most criminally underrated episodes in the series. This. This is how you do humor. Unlike Yellow Fever that just repeats one joke, here we go from here we go from Bigfoot to talking teddy bears to Zod references. It's amazing that is a f uh, I can't oh wow, I can't believe that that I just said it because it he sounds funny when he says Neil before Todd, but yeah, Neil before Zod. I can't believe that. It's amazing that there is a variety and energy, something that Andrew Dabb didn't bring to the overrated Yellow Fever. Just to clarify, I'm not hating on Dabb's episode because of Dabb. I let if I like it or I hate it an episode it's because of an actual episode not because the person who wrote it yeah deb's gonna be writing some pretty decent ones in the later ones like uh 
Uh, Jump the Shark was one of his episodes, so I'm excited to talk about that one later on. Most of the wishes in this episode were creative, and I really like that most of the characters. Wesley is a, is a desperate, sympathetic character. The Invisible Kid is amusing, and I feel sorry for the poor, lucky Chin's employee. Re reverence must be paid to Todd, but Teddy is still my favorite character from this episode. His compulsions are played for laughs, but I feel enormous sympathy for the teddy bear. It is for the best that the Teddy's can, uh, creation is undone. Imagine how much worse for Teddy it would have been now in the current year. I hope everyone in the comment section in a bad place seeks help. Yes, that is good. The show is getting close to Dean's trauma and Alistair. I miss how in season 4, 5, and the earlier seasons, the majority of the demons were smart enough not to punch beyond their weight class, and some demons even displayed actual loyalty to their masters. The frequency of demon backstabbing would eventually get to the point of tediousness in later seasons yes like everyone's gonna betray everyone later on yeah that is a good point kind of funny that they never made a reference back to the teddy bear again because that's something that you would never ever see again right kneel before todd wishful thinking the classic monkey paws story but executed far more competently than in wonder woman 1984 yes i'm gonna make that comment the cursed coin from the wishing well in this episode is associated with Timat. According to ancient history encyclopedia, Timat is the Mesopotamian goddess associated with primordial chaos and the salt of the sea. It's surprising to me that Timat never appeared in the flesh in this show. But we got the Baba Yaga, right? <coughs> Finally, the last one here. This one's actually is a bit of a bummer, but no, it's cool to see this here from Karen. In wishful thinking, I don't care much about the cursed coin story, but absolutely love the happy waiter, the suicidal Teddy's why, Dean's anguish confession about hell, and my absolute favorite, Neil before Todd. Sad footnote about the child actor who played Todd, he did not have a happy life. Grew up angry and ended up killing his mom. Sorry for the downer. Woof. <laughs> Jeez. And now we're moving on to I Know What You Did Last Summer. And funny enough, I actually don't remember this episode on a cursory glance, but I imagine when I started, I'll remember it. In the meantime, give me your guys' comments about that episode, and I'll read those off in the next review. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching this review, and thank you for watching the many, many reviews I've done about Supernatural over the while. Like I said, this is the 200th review I've ever done. Not the 200th episode review, I'm, I'm clarifying that. That's not gonna happen until season five. But it's crazy to think that I've talked this much about the show and you guys have listened to me blabber on this long. So again, I appreciate that. Anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like, and if you're interested in more, subscribe. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Thanks for watching the video. My name is Nitz, and you might remember me from the animated cult classic TV show, Undergrads. It's been a while, but I'm happy to say the click is finally getting back together in an all new movie, thanks to a successful Kickstarter campaign but we are still asking for your support. To see any and all updates about the upcoming Undergrads movie, be sure to check out and like the Bring Back Undergrads Facebook page. And with any luck, we'll see you guys soon.